Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com. It is Monday, March 11th, 2019. Got a free pick in college basketball coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you're not yet a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a try, great way to do so. You click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link Below the video, free $60 account. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Uh, some college basketball, NBA, and NHL info all coming up in just a bit, including a free pick from Monday night West Coast Conference Tournament action in just a moment. Uh, we talked about NASCAR really for the first time as far as to win bets were concerned on yesterday's video, and I'm happy to say that we won. We had Kyle Busch and a few other drivers. Overall, we made three and a half units in NASCAR in Phoenix on Sunday First to win releases of the entire season uh, yesterday, and we cashed the winning ticket. And uh, we're going to be involved all year long. We handicap every single race. There's, what, about 31, 32 races to go uh, until the end of the season. We handicap them all. We'll probably be involved in about 24, 25 of those remaining races, if not all of them. So, listen, it's something we've been doing for 20 years. i got to admit, I wasn't a NASCAR fan when I got involved, but I was a fan of beating the books and making money. And if that's what you're into, uh, then give it a shot. We're involved. Again, we handicap each and every race, and I, I would expect that we're involved in at least 25 of the final 31, 32 races of the season. College basketball and NBA on Monday. Got a couple things to talk about. We've got a college basketball tourney knockout on Monday's card. It goes at about 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's backed by some red hot spots. It's over at DocSports.com right now. We've got Monday night basketball in the NBA uh, we've got a shocker, as we call them, a little mild upset in the NBA for Monday night. And in the NHL, we're involved there also. Uh, again, basically a, a short dog there that we like on Monday. So uh, we're looking at a nice 3-0 sweep on Monday. All the plays available at DocSports.com uh, Monday morning. You'll want to go grab those. Don't forget about that March tournament package. You can still get the rest of my college basketball plays right through the college basketball championship in April all for only $299. Big discount. You buy the packages every day. They're 30 bucks a day, or you can get the rest of the season for $299. Again, that includes the big dance, uh, the remaining college basketball conference tournament plays. Uh, it includes the smaller tourney plays after the conference tournaments have finished up. So you'll want to grab all that. $299 right now over at DocSports.com. Before I get to the free pick for tonight's college basketball, a couple of quick notes. Uh, we're going to make a a wager in the Big East on a couple of teams, really outside of Marquette and Villanova. There's another three or four teams that have a legit shot to win the postseason tournament. Two of them that we're looking at to make a, a little wager on, Seton Hall and Creighton. Now, as far as Seton Hall is concerned, I think they're going to get in because of those last couple of wins to end the season over both Marquette and Villanova. Uh, and they've got a decent record. They're almost at 500 against Quadrant run, Quadrant 1. Uh, opponents. Now, they're not ranked as highly on, at Ken Palm or their net as the Creighton Blue Jays, and Creighton has really come on also, but their quadrant run record is not good. They're just 3-10 and 10 on the season, but man, it was heartache city all season long for the Blue Jays. Lost a lot of tough, close games late in the games, including one of the matchups with Marquette that was in Omaha, in which they seemingly had the game wrapped up at the end of regulation. Made a couple of mistakes. Marquette scores. It goes to overtime. Marquette wins an OT. Creighton had a few of those over the course of the regular season, uh, but they did start to turn things around a little bit late in the season. Got that win at Marquette. And the win over DePaul, by the way, even though uh, DePaul's not a team that gets you into the tourney, because they didn't lose that, lose focus off of a nice end run at the end of the regular season and lose at home to DePaul in their final game, uh, that helps them be more viable when it comes to a potential at-large bid. I think they might have to win one more, though. They're 18-13. They've got Xavier up first. And I like what Creighton's done uh, since Crumple. Martin Crumple got healthy. Uh, they've been playing a different kind of basketball. They've been looking to stay inside the arc a little bit more than we're used to out of the Creighton Blue Jays. And they've been paying off with wins. It's going to be a good game against Xavier. That's a team that could also win this conference tournament. Uh, but I think Creighton's going to get by him. And then uh, you've got to take on Villanova in all likelihood if you're the Creighton Blue Jays. Uh, but they can play with the Wildcats, as can just about everybody in this conference right now. So it is a wide-open conference. Marquette certainly didn't put a lot of confidence into its backers late in the season. They lost their final four games, and the way they did it in a couple of those games, losing decent leads down the stretch uh, makes you scratch your head a little bit with Wojo, Coach Wojo, and everything that's going on 
with the Golden Eagles as they enter the tournament. But our two plays and shop around, you can find a little bit difference of the odds from one book to the next. But Seton Hall and Creighton, a couple of uh, one-unit plays to win uh, the postseason Big East tournament. Again, shop around a little bit for good odds. All right, let's get to our free pick for Monday Night Basketball. We're going to take St. Mary's. We're going to lay the spot. Uh, four and a half, five points over San Diego. That game's the late one in Vegas. It goes at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 8.30 p.m. Pacific. Uh, these two teams have matched up twice, of course, in conference play during the regular season. Not even close. St. Mary's whacked San Diego both times. Uh, they beat them 66-46 to 46 most recently on February 23rd in San Diego. They beat them prior to that, 76-59 up in Moraga, and it's just one of those situations where they have the matchups, the advantages of the matchups over San Diego. I don't think the Toreros are going to find the sweet elixir uh, just because they're now in the postseason tournament. And I know San Diego has been whacking teams so far in the postseason West Coast Conference tournament, but I don't like them here. We like St. Mary's minus the points to get the three-game season sweep over San Diego, the St. Mary's Gales minus the points. Monday night WCC basketball. All right, again, don't miss out on Monday's card. We've got the uh, four unit plays in the NBA, also college basketball, shocker, short dog in the NHL. It's all available Monday morning at docsports.com as we look to complete the suite. All right, listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Scott Spritzer, docsports.com, right back here Tuesday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific.